I am clearly audible to you. Yes, ma'am, loud, loud and clear. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. So it's sharp three o'clock. I think we are good to start. Yeah, good to start, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. So a very good afternoon to all the present audience here. Maybe the aspirants. I am expecting along with the parents. So very warm welcome. From GS Mandal Maharashtra Institute the of Technology on. and uh, from Department of Computer Science and Engineering. I am Dr. Smita Kasar. Presently, I am the head of the department for Computer Science and Engineering. And uh, talking about myself, very much in brief, uh, I am a graduate, maybe the aspirants from IOT along with the pay from Mumbai University. Later, I pursued my ME in computer science, a PhD in computer science and engineering. And uh, presently, uh, I am a PhD guide as well and working in MIT past more than five years. Uh, so I think we are good to start. So regarding computer science and engineering, many of you are very much clear, but still, uh, let I me talk about the branch me in computer. Because these days we have a lot of branches uh, that have computer as one of its uh, term, maybe in the name of uh, the branch. So talking about computer science and engineering, it is a basic branch that covers all the fundamentals of computer science and engineering aspects. That is in a very naive and simple language, we say that we start with how a computer is working along with the programming languages and moving slowly further along with the data structures, what is a database, then about different type of programming languages and ending it up to uh, say artificial neural networks, artificial intelligence, network security, cyber security, etc. So everything which is there in uh, which that is having an application in using computers, the fundamentals are all covered in computer science and engineering. Now let me take you through a short glimpse on a short tour of what MIT Computer Science and Engineering Department is going to give you all. So let's move further in the presentation. So this is our department at a glance. The department was established in uh, 2001. I am the head of the department. So presently we run these programs. We have BTEC in computer science and engineering. The intake this year, that is for the admission of 2023-24, the intake is 240. We also run an MTech program in computer science and technology. The intake for this program is 18. We have one more MTech in computer science and engineering with specialization in data analytics with 12 seats. And we do have a CSE research center with 10 students. So looking further, if you could see the screen, uh, this is the vision of our CSA department and the mission of the department. The vision clearly states that we would like to come up as a center of excellence in the field of computer science and engineering. And how do we plan to do so? Is by imparting knowledge and training to the students so that they become capable to meet the growing needs of the industry and society. So this is our vision. To fulfill this vision, the department has come up with a mission that how do we impart this knowledge, training, and how do our students go with the growing needs of industry and society? We do this by providing quality education through a well-designed curriculum. Our curriculum is in tune with the challenging needs of software industry. And here we do provide state-of-art facilities and uh, we always try to impart knowledge 
in the thrust areas of computer science and engineering. So this is the vision and the mission of our department. I would also like to mention that the Department of Computer Science and Engineering is NBA accredited. That is National Board of Accreditation. This is one of the toughest accreditation uh, as of now. And this accreditation is only for the departments. As an institute whole, we have a NAC accreditation. In short, talking in very easy terms, this is one of the accreditation that we get when the way of teaching, learning, and whatever facilities we are providing in the department is at par. So as you can see, the letter which is put up on the screen, the CSE department is accredited for three years. That is, we are accredited up to 2025. Now, I'll take you through the infrastructure. We have 11 dedicated laboratories in the department, along with the computer center. Our computer center has around 100 computers, and we have two computer centers. One is specially dedicated to the first year, and the other is uh, available in the department for higher class students. We have well-equipped classrooms with audiovisual facilities and a very good ambient seminar hall where uh, our programs which are organized in the department are taken care of. Few glimpses of uh, the computing facilities as you can see on the screen. So these are our computer labs. Now let me go through a few of the points as you can see here is uh, what kind of uh, interaction we have with industry, what type of association we have with industry, what kind of programs we run, and in short about the student involvement and the placement and alumni. So considering the industry association, these are some of the additional facilities what computer science and engineering department provides. So to begin with, we are associated with Red Hat Private Limited uh, since 2006. We do have an academy where we run international certification programs. And I'm happy to tell you that not only the MIT students, but we also allow corporate people. We also allow outside students to come and train here for certification. Also, we have one more uh, facility here that the certification exam is taken in MIT itself. We have that set up as well. Then comes the Big Data Academy. So everyone might have uh, uh, come across this buzzword in CAC that's Big Data. So we have an MOU with uh, Cloudera who have provided us with uh, a curriculum that trains us on technologies like uh, Hadoop, Apache Hive, etc. We are also associated with Oracle Academy. So we are directly uh, in an MOU with Oracle. Oracle has provided us a learning management system. From this learning management system, we can allow our students to get trained in certain learning paths. We have AWS Academy as well, IIRS Outreach Program. So this is related to, uh, we are in touch with Dehradun's ISRO Center. I'll talk about it in later as well. We also have a center of excellence in cybersecurity and cyber forensics. This we started very recently in the last year. And I'm happy to say that uh, 10 students have already completed uh, a course on cybersecurity and cyber forensics. And these students were from first year, very much interested and enthusiastic, enthusiastic students uh, to work into this area further. And let me take you in uh, swift detail about all these facilities. So I was talking about Red Hat Academy. So basically, uh, when as an academics, our students are into the curriculum, Along with that, 
they should not be deprived of what is going on in the industry or the corporate. So with this objective, we always keep in touch with what is going on in the industry. That is, we always try to bridge the gap between the education and the industry. So this is one way. So this academy provides different types of uh, trainings and certifications. Basically, it starts with Linux. Then we do have cloud, we have DevOps, we have GitOps and many more uh, trainings and certifications available through this academy. Then we have Big Data. This academy is uh, in association with Cloudera. And the courses, what we have here is introduction to Hadoop and Big Data. And I would like to mention that along with the curriculum, these all courses can be pursued by the students in their free time and usually we run these courses on Saturdays and if required on Sundays as well. And these are offline courses. This is the Oracle Academy. So there are several learning paths in Oracle Academy. As of now, we have focused on uh, the Java learning path and we have focused on the database learning path. So our students can enroll in this LMS. They can get trained. So this comes up with an online, uh, uh, you can say, mode of learning. And if they are facing any difficulties, they get in touch with the coordinator who is there to solve their doubts. I was talking about this IIRS outreach program. So our institute is having an outreach program. We have an association where we can run this outreach program. And uh, several interactive courses are available online here. I am the coordinator for the same. So different types of courses, which are very much related to remote sensing. Because it's IIRS. So remote sensing in the sense, uh, say, GIS related, geoinformatics, and how this geospatial technology works for different applications. So these all uh, courses are available here. Anyone nationally can enroll into this course and uh, they have live lectures and they get the certificates after an assessment. So we have a center of excellence as I was talking about uh, cyber security and cyber forensics. So we are in touch with uh, and associated with Sedulity Solutions and Technologies. So we coordinate this session. And the objective of starting the COE is cybersecurity and forensics is a very much required aspect, you could say. It's not only for computer science and engineering, but any branch Thank student can come and get trained in this center of excellence. We have an AWS Academy. So in AWS Academy, we run first basic certification. So there are basically two certifications which are important as of uh, the uh, jobs are concerned, cloud practitioner and cloud architect. So now let me take you through the student activities. Not all activities of so many years uh, we could gather and present it in such a short presentation. So I would like to show you the glimpse. Basically, while going for student activities, it is not only the teachers that organize this activity. We do take care that the students are developed in organizational as well as leadership skills as well. So keeping this in mind, we have an association of computer technology students, which we have named it as ACTS. So this is an association at the department level. Every year, we elect some post of this uh, association. And these are selected from the third year and final year classes. So we have a president, vice president, treasurer, and many other posts. 
and depending on this every year some changes could be done for the post and this is how we have a committee so it is this year's acts committee so events like this now this is the very recent event which we have uh, organized on 26th april 2023 so this was an arambh technophilia event this was organized by all the students of acts and there were team members and this was an inter institute event some of the events of this were online and some were offline as well we keep on organizing certain uh, workshops as well now as you could see here this is a course on python python is a part of syllabus but as the language is too huge and it has got lot of perspectives so we have organized the workshop for our students this semester so as you can just take a look at the dates uh, we did this in the month of december seminars sessions online and offline also we have organized so these are few glimpses of uh, seminar on industry 4.0 recently we have also organized a session on generative ai now everyone is uh, you no know, there is a buzzword everyone knows about chat gpt so exactly what is chat gpt what is an application how it is being developed how it is useful and uh, all these aspects were covered in this session this was a gen ai revolution and the session the speaker as you can see on the screen uh, mr anand mahurkar he is founder and ceo of findability sciences uh, from greater boston he had taken this session live online and around more than 500 students of our institute and the other sister concern institute attended this session we arranged this type of sessions for faculty as well so i have focused more on student events in this presentation not only technical we do take care of uh, other extra co curricular aspects of our children so this is a glimpse of seminar on yoga and pranayam this was conducted in our seminar hall so some achievements not only from this year but few past achievements i have tried to sum it up showing technical extra curricular events national state all kinds of levels so as we can just take a look here so this is the most recent event what we have uh this is sggs college nanded recently held a national level hackathon named as pragya and a team of third year and second year students of our department won that national level hackathon it was on 15th april to 17th april and the first prize amount was 25000 similarly national level hackathon was also held in karnataka college there also our team won third prize technically if you could see we have uh, students who participate in smart india hackathon 2019 2020 our students are also into research and development so one of our student received the best paper award in one of the international conference then our students have uh, received award as you can see as young it professional csi is a, a computer society of india chapter our students are also good in drafting now as you can see vaishnavi nigve karshi won the first prize in essay competition in the university we have ncc and ss in on the institute level so one of our student also won the best cadet award uh, recently we have also organized a national level ncc through ncc we organized a cyber security awareness workshop for all the ncc cadets all over not only nationally this team of our students worked on an international project that was on blockchain 
and we got this project in collaboration with University of Limerick, Ireland. So they completed this project and developed a module which was handed over uh, to the department of uh, that's of University of Limerick, and that module was taken further to develop, uh, you could say, a kind of product. These are some other activities. Uh, we celebrate Engineers Day. We have national level project competitions. This What's Up is our e-magazine. Every semester, the students are the editors. We do have one faculty in charge and they come up with this magazine issue. We also take our students to uh, industry so that they are aware of the culture and uh, the way the industry functions, not only to the private industries, but we have also taken our students to ISRO, Hyderabad. So this was the most recent, like during the COVID, we couldn't go for this industrial visits because we were not getting permissions. But then last year onwards, again, we started. So recently, this was our final year batch. They have visited the ISRO, Hyderabad on 21st November, 2022. Now looking into the social aspect, our students are very much interested, students as well as faculty. So they visit nearby schools, ashram shalas to spread computer literacy. For personality development, we organize many events as I have given you glimpses of the same. And these sessions, or you could say the programs are organized being uh, students as volunteers. That is, they work for the students and they also learn. So this is one another social aspect is Swachha Bharat Abhiyan. Extracurricular development also. Uh, students are into sports. Our students run a notice board that is called as Abhivyakta. So this Abhivyakta is uh, to showcase the different skills the students have of CSE department. May it be painting or writing poems in any language, English, Hindi, Marathi, any other language. So this notice board is basically to showcase their talent, which is other than technical. We have yoga classes regularly run on the MIT campus every day, including Sundays in the morning. The students can come down uh, to the MIT campus and every day take care of their health by participating in this yoga class. And this is done absolutely free. Anyone can come. So this is an initiative from our college. So anyone can come and attend these classes. We do have a very good cricket ground. The students, as you can see here, some glimpses of cricket matches are also here. So let me take you to placements updates. These are our major recruiters. But um, as of now, many of the opportunities have come online for our students. Along with this, I would like to mention that not only the placements, but in our curriculum, Final year, last six months, our students undergo implant training. We can also call it as internship, but we do call it as IPT, that is implant training, because it is more than 20 weeks. Around 20 weeks is compulsory. When we are saying internship between the semester, it might be for 15 days or one month but we have dedicated one complete semester for implant training. Because of uh, including that in the curriculum, uh, we are bound to provide this implant training to each and every student. It is same as that of placements. Many of the students' uh, jobs get converted to placements after their implant training. So, so many companies we are in touch with because we are supposed to place each and every student for this implant training. Many of the students 
they grab stipend so this is during the stipend uh, during the implant training some of the students get stipend some companies do not give the stipend some provide the stipend so as you can see the stipend here on the screen the highest is 25000 by the time they are working there as an intern then uh, krishna agrawal also received 6000 then we have uh, vaishnavi with 10000 and all of them are uh, placed in this organization for the whole semester so this is my whole class all the students who have been placed into these many companies so just take a look so few glimpses of uh, placements also which are other than this implant training so recently uh, our student nikita patwa she got placed in red hat we have students in Ibravium, Siberium, GB Mumbai, and many more companies. I could put this many. Now, not only this, that is only up to placement and we are done. But I would like to say that our students, when they go to industry, they are recognized. So these are few of our students. One of our students, Naman Chakravarti. So as soon as he joined TCS, Within six months, he got the TCS Gems Award. So he shared with us. Uh, same is with the other student also. He got the Best Team Award. Shreya also got the TCS Gems Award. Roman Kazi. So he joined TCS uh, after his placement, but then immediately he shifted to Google. So presently, he is now in Google Hyderabad. Coming towards the end of my presentation, uh, well, I think you all know about the career opportunities of uh, computer science engineers, but still I would like to highlight few that nowadays these type of career opportunities basically are available. So previously we used to, you uh, know, somebody used to ask, okay, what is your designation? So it used to be a software developer or I uh, maybe a coder, something of that sort. So now it is very specific. These days it is a full stack developer. So that is one of the career we can in go into. Web development is one of a complete good new career where uh, related to web, all the technologies we can go for. Mobile application developer. Then if the student is more interested into security aspect, network security, database security, he can come up as an entrepreneur and become a cybersecurity analyst or consultant. You might be hearing uh, so many shows on radio as well. So where uh, uh, the awareness is created related to when you are online, what kind of uh, preventive measures could be taken or how to avoid the cyber crimes, etc. So that is also one of a very good career that comes up with a very good base of CSE. Cyber forensic analyst, system analyst, system administrator, database administrator, technical architect, data architect, solution architect. So solution architect is something uh, uh, I would like to explain one of our alumni uh, Mr. Kishore Deshpande, he is in Sweden. So he provides services to companies who want to uh, have their own setup, which is very much related to CSE. So what kind of setup it should be, what should be the configuration of the systems, uh, whether they should host it online, you know, kind of things. So that is also a very good area where CSE can be, a CSE student can be have his or her own uh, consultancy, computer network architect, entrepreneur, and many, many more. I think a lot of opportunities uh, we do have here. Now, let me take you through our alumni. We are very much in touch with our alumni. If you see the pic here on screen, so when our students visited Hyderabad for uh, ISRO visit, as I have already mentioned. So few students who were there in the city, they took this opportunity. And uh, this is actually a pick of night, 11 o'clock. They completed their uh, uh, shift, their job, and they joined the students, interacted with them for a long time. 
So in the pic, we could see these are our two students, uh, Mr. Shubham. He is in Google and the other student is in Apple. So they have taken up time and uh, guided our students who were there for the industry visit. So our alumni do not wait for a formal, uh, uh, you can say, uh, invitation or when they come to the college, then only they talk to the students. So wherever they are, just grab the opportunity and they talk to our students. Roman Kazi, I was talking about him. He initially joined TCS, but within just one year, uh, he got selected in Google, Google Hyderabad. So when he was here in Aurangabad, he took up time and came and guided our students. So this, in, in fact, is really very important as students learn from their peers and their seniors much faster. So many of our distinguished alumni, as we have started from 2001, we have a lot of our alumni in very good positions and in throughout the world, not only in India. So our alumni are a part of our department advisory board. Our alumni are a part of our syllabus committee. Whatever syllabus we design, so we get uh, the guidance from alumni, industry people, that what type of syllabus should be there so that it helps the students to be at par with what is going on in the market. They give guidance in the project for industrial visits also. They assist us and they also assist us for IPT as well as placements. Um, last year, if you can see the pic, we have uh, come up with a workshop and in that workshop, all the speakers were MIT alumni. So it was a three day long workshop which the students have taken. Finally, we are towards the end of uh, my presentation. And I would like to end with a quote from Honorable Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. He said that all of us do not have equal talent, but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talents. So all the students who are listening to this presentation, this is an opportunity for you to choose the best of your careers and develop your talent. Thank you. That's all from my side. So if there are any questions, you can unmute yourself and uh, I'll try to answer them. So do we have some questions? People who have joined, you can unmute yourself and uh, ask the questions. Well, let me check whether we have some messages. Okay. So we do not have any questions. Hopefully, uh, if you want, you can get back to us. Uh, come down to Maharashtra Institute of Technology in case of any doubts you have related to admissions, related to any admission process, related to what type of uh, branch, what it yields to, what is the syllabus, any of your query, you are welcome here in MIT. Thank you. That is all from my side. Thank you. Okay, madam. Thank you. I think uh, we can close the meeting now. Yeah, I think there are no more questions. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much, madam. Thank, thank you very you. much.